Sports Tonight is back again. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Centre in Lagos, Nigeria. It's good to have you join us to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonakwa and on the show tonight, the 2019 French Open will get our attention. I'll also let you know what's going on with the Super Eagles of Nigeria as they get ready for the 2019 African Cup of Nations in Egypt. You know the story. Kelechi Yen Acho and Semi Ajayi have been dropped from the squad and so Coach Ganaro has his complete team that will execute that mission in Egypt, also on the show tonight, the Super Falcons of Nigeria, they lost their first match against um, Norway at the FIFA Women's World Cup. Second match is on Wednesday, and we're rooting big time for the team. We believe that if they win that one, they might just go on at the tournament. I'm not giving up on the Super Falcons. We'll talk about that first match and then the expectations for Wednesday's match. That's in the FIFA Women's World Cup. The Nigeria Pitch Award, the sixth edition, was done uh, over the weekend in Asaba. Uh, Delta State Capital and Channels Television for uh, the station's contribution to grassroots football development received a special football achievement award. We love it so much. That's a joy for football at the grassroots and continue to celebrate it. I'll talk about the pitch awards on this show tonight. I'll also let you know what went down in Asaba besides the football. We lost the big boss, Stephen Keshi, on June the 7th, 2016. For the football world, we were still celebrating. Uh, that's African football legend. The Nigeria, the National Association of Nigerian Professional Footballers, they had the second memorial lecture uh, for Stephen Keshi. And what was the objective to tell players, current players, uh, that there's life after football? We need to remember the big boss, everything that went down at that memorial lecture. We'll talk about it on the show tonight, listen to uh, some of the persons that put it together in honor of coach, the late coach Stephen Keshi. We'll talk about that one. Also on the show tonight, I'll let you know what's going on at the MPFL Super 6. No win for Aqua United again. They played goalless with Lobby Stars, Enugu Rangers, and Kano Pillars played 1-1. One, one. Uh, before getting into the studio, it was aimed by 3 FC. If I will buy one, Abashir Abdurrahman scored the third goal for the People's Elephant. So Aimba wins that one. They go on top of the table, and it's looking like they were going to get the league title uh, this year. We'll talk about it on the show tonight. And also, some of those talking points that came out of that match between Enugu Rangers and Kano Pillars. The fans didn't like what happened in the seventh minute when Rangers were awarded a penalty. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about that one also on the show tonight. I'll let you know how Rafael Nadal is feeling, is feeling after winning his 20th Grand Slam title. Rafael Nadal and Clay, you know what it is. He's the king. No one comes close. And also, I've got updates coming from basketball league basketball in Nigeria. That's about the outlook of the show tonight. Wherever you are in the world watching us, welcome on board. This is Sports Tonight. I love it when you get involved. So you can talk to us on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I feel sports. You can send us an email, sports tonight at channels tv.com. So much is going down in our world of sports. Uh, on social media, that controversy, that debate, not controversy, that debate has backed up again after leading Portugal to win the inaugural UEFA Champions the Nations League title, that debate, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, who is better, has popped up again. So some fans of Cristiano Ronaldo are now putting pressure on Messi that he should go and win the Copa America. Yes, that he should go and win it with Argentina before he starts talking with uh, Cristiano Ronaldo once again. Come on, football fans, what's going on? But, but I love the debate. So let's keep that conversation going also on social media, Twitter channels, underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. We also need to talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria. As some section believe that a coach Ganoro a gambled by dropping Semi Ajayi, that uh, in terms of versatility, uh, that, that Semi Ajayi is versatile and can actually be used one way or the other in midfield. The coach knows better, he knows his team, but hey, the debate uh, will continue. You can also talk about the Super Eagles and that. A final list that has been um, released by Coach Ganero, and basically their preparations for uh, the African Cup of Nations. Let's talk about that on Twitter channels, underscore sports, uh, Facebook channels, I think sports. I only want fans, supporters, lovers of the Super Falcons to talk on this show tonight, yes, because at every level, our ladies deserve love. They are great ambassadors. Yes, they lost to Norway. I criticize them productively because they still have two more matches. And if you don't, if you don't support them, if you don't say the right things to them, then, then you're not doing good to their morale. So let's talk about the Super Falcons at the FIFA Women's World Cup. Uh, they have a crucial match against Korea Republic. I believe they can win that one. Could Thomas Denaby believes they can also win that one. You, do you believe that they can win it? If you believe 
Let me part of the show tonight. Hashtag uh, 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup. Hashtag Super Falcons. Hashtag Super Eagles. Hashtag Nigeria Pitch Awards. Hashtag Channels International Kids Cup. Yes, because we're getting those special recognitions for the work we're doing uh, for grassroots football development. Hashtag MPFL Super 6 also. So let's get the conversation going on Twitter. Channels underscore sports. Facebook channels, I think sports. All our top stories can be viewed on our website, channelstv.com. And on YouTube, for slash channels, if you log on to m.channelstv.com, you should be able to download the Channels TV app for any of those devices. So much is going down in our world of sports. Let's help you keep up with the pace. Log on to m.channelstv.com. Download the Channels TV app for your Android, your iPhone, your iPad, your iOS, and your Windows phones. And you can be part of the show tonight because so much is going down in our world of sports. Let's bring the conversation Back to the studio now. It's a Monday night. Toby Adikpoju uh, is with us in the studio. Toby, it's good to have you on sports tonight. Yeah, it's a great pleasure. It's good to be here. Yeah. Um, really great weekend for, for football, yeah. especially. And then from the Nigerian, we love um, mixed feeling. I, <laughs> I, I, I had a lot of hopes for, for Falcons. You know, I, you know, I saw all the hard work these mm. ladies, you know, these beautiful ladies, uh, you know, put in before this tournament. Then I did a lot of work on these girls and... You know, I, I thought they could get a point in that. My, my permutation yeah. for them also was, was to get four points in this game. I thought one point against Norway, Korea, win. Then France might be difficult, but I mean, it, 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 is, it, it is not over. Um, yeah. I think, like you said, we just have to support them, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yet it's normal in football, reaction to results, mm. you know, everyone. Mm. Maybe because of the preparation, maybe because of what they did uh, from, the, from, the, from the Women's Nations Cup in January this year. Yeah. I mean, a lot, a lot of people thought you know, they could get a better result, but I mean, it is not over. And I think this, these girls will, will fight. Uh, you also mentioned uh, the Afghan squad. I oh. mean, not, not good movement for some players. Yeah. Some players are smiling, yeah. and then some players yeah. are, are kicking themselves yeah, right man. now, but, you know, uh, we just hope um, um, Super Eagles will also give a good fight in Egypt. And uh, so that's about the outlook of the show tonight, uh, Talking Sports on our channels, television. You, you can be part of the program. Don't forget on Twitter channels, on the sports, sports, Facebook channel, Life in Sports. It's Sports Tonight. Let me give you updates coming from the world of basketball. The long awaited, we've been waiting for it for a long, long time. The 2019 MBBF uh, Women's Basketball uh, League we will now dunk off on July the 1st. So basketball fans, keep it down. We've been asking questions. When will the league come? We've got players. We've got talent, but no league. So the MBBF, they have announced that the league will dunk off on July the 1st. According to the Federation, the 2019 season, we see the introduction of a home and away format with the 24 teams divided into four groups. The top four teams from the regular league will compete in the conference playoffs that will be divided into the traditional Atlantic and Savannah conferences from August the 27th through September the 20th, immediately after the 2019 Afro Basketball uh, Women's Break. So right after that, we will commence. Uh, the Women's League will be concluded with the national finals scheduled for September the 30th through October the 5th. So dates you should keep down. It's going to start on July the 1st. Uh, we're also going to be busy from August the 27th uh, till September the 20th. Keep that down if you love basketball, particularly women's basketball. And the Women's League will be concluded with the national final that will take uh, scheduled for September the 30th, and it will run through the 5th of October. Talking about Women's Basketball League in Nigeria, not just the women will be busy. The MBBF, they have also announced that the Men's Premier League will dunk up between July the 8th and August the 14th before the FIBA World Cup break. So the women will be busy. The men will also be busy. This will be followed by the conference playoffs on September the 21st and run through October the 2nd. The semi-final stage made up of the top four teams at the end of the conference playoffs will play the best of three games. So the, the top four semi-finalists, they will play the best of three games from October the 15th uh, to the 24th. They will be busy. Four teams will then proceed to the national final between November the 2nd uh, to the 9th. So that's about it for uh, basketball in Nigeria. We've been waiting for the league. We've been asking questions. So finally, the MBBF, that's the Nigeria Basketball Federation, uh, they have given us the dates. If you love women's basketball, July the 1st, said the women's league will dunk off. If you love men's basketball, you love the two. Uh, the men will dunk off on the 8th, on July the 8th, and it will run through August the 14th. They will be busy till November the 9th. That's when we're going to 
have the final of the national finals and, and maybe have a champion. So that's it. Basketball in Nigeria. Step aside now. Let's talk about the 2018 Nigeria Pitch Awards. Yes, uh, that award ceremony uh, is put together to honor our football personalities, persons in the media covering football, and of course, are the players, the main gladiators of the sport. So since 2013, uh, match consult, um, matchmakers consult, um, led by Mr. Shipper Phillips, they've been doing this award and the sixth edition pictures right there are coming from the sixth edition in Asaba. Ahmed Musa won the King of the Peach Award. That's Wilfred Indidi right there, uh, receiving the award from um, NFF Executive Committee member Ahmed Fresh. He was midfielder of the year. Johnny Allo was striker of the year. Uh, it was good to see football persons come together, particularly uh, the members of the Super Eagles uh, uh, being appreciated. Sheyi Akiwumi uh, won the Sam Okparaji Award. That's one also we use it to honor uh, the late Sam Okparaji for all he did for football in Nigeria. Lots of awards went down to beyond. This is a good way to appreciate everybody by the way you were also a nominee congratulations it's <laughs> yeah, a good way you. to to uh, appreciate everyone yeah. contributing to football yeah i mean it's, it's really amazing after you know hard work over um, over 12 months or, or so you know it's, it's good to see people being appreciated the players were there i mean you had almost um 25 super Eagles player in that hall you know the atmosphere the fun i mean they were really excited for me and most everyone you know came on board to, to appreciate have this picture and you know celebrate with him like he also said a couple of you know um, nfm second member were there i mean it, it, it is really a good work to celebrate, you know, uh, players, uh, administrators, and then the media. The media part is, is also key because, you know, <laughs> we'll push the news out there. Yeah. We do a lot of hard work, yeah. the news and everything. Good, and, good, yeah. I mean, it's, it's really good to see people and, and get rewarded for this hard work. It's, it's really exciting to see, you know, this beautiful world. I was part of it. Um, I, was, I was nominated even though I didn't win. But, I mean, it, it was really a great experience for yeah. everyone, you know, yeah. uh, in that, you know, um, our night. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay, let, let's... Um, uh, See a list of um, everyone over. By the way, Channels Television uh, Football Achievement Award yep. will receive for uh, the Channels International Kids Cup every year. The Channels <laughs> International Kids it's... Cup celebrates football at the grassroots. We discover young talents, and, and as I said here, to yep. be the objective. Uh, it's to replace all of those Super Eagles players that we see today. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really good to pass the message to them. And it's, it's also good for them to feel that, I mean, there is a program, you know, uh, where players could progress, could nurture, uh, and be done by Channel TV. I mean, it's, it's, it's really good. And like I said earlier, it's good to be appreciated for this hard work. In as much as, you know, you're not doing this uh, to be appreciated, but, you know, when you get appreciated, you okay. should be excited about it. And, okay. and like you said, I mean, the players are really happy to see the fact that there's a program, you know, being done by, by Channel Kicks up consistently mm. for for a couple of years now, 11. and the 11 years yeah. is, is really, really, really massive. And, I mean, it's, it's something we should, you know, celebrate every year. And the progress of the players is yeah. important. I yeah. mean, it's in the next couple of years, we'll also be inside the hall, mm. and, you know, China's mm. kids product, you we'll know, will be, be celebrated. That's right. Or that's we'll get closer to it. I mean, it, it's really good in, 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 in the future. But, the I mean, it's, it's really, it's really yeah. good to, to, to have this award. Yeah. Beautiful. So let's take a list. Uh, let's see selected list, because there were loads of awards given out on the night. Let's see. Uh, I told you, Channels Television received the Football Achievement Award. It was a special recognition award uh, for the Channels International Kids Cup for uh, all of the hard work for football development at the grassroots. I want to appreciate the organizers of the Nigeria Peach Awards uh, for doing that. Defender of the Year went to William Trust Ekong. Uh, Leon Balogun won for 2017, so uh, he dedicated it to his team. That was a good one. Midfielder of the Year was Wilfred Indidi. Striker of the Year was Johnny Allo. Uh, MVP in the MPFA went to Junior Lokosa uh, for what he did while he, when was that? Um, yeah, in the, uh, in the uh, Cano Pillars. Cano Pillars, um, a fantastic player at the time. Uh, MVP in the Nigeria Women's Football League went to Rashida Ajibade, mm -hmm. Club of the Year in Ugu Rangers. Coach of the Year, Benga Ogumbote, yeah, National Team of the Year, of course, went to our darling, beautiful Super Falcons. The Queen of the Peach was Francisca Odega. She dethroned Asisat uh, Oshuala, yeah. who's been winning it for quite some time. King of the Peach. Went to Ahmed Musa. They call him the governor. The player, the <laughs> governor, the governor. Goalkeeper of the year, uh, Francis Odinaka Uzo, Uzo, and then corporate sponsor of football went to the Ethiopia group for all of the support they've been giving to football. And a football friendly governor of the year went to the governor of Delta State, Governor Ifan Okowa. This one. Um, well done, want to say to them, yep. particularly what they did for athletes that went to the National Sports Festival. I mean, it rolled out about 127 million. That, that is massive. Yeah. And for, uh, for Delta, so it's all about football alone. Um, I mean, they, they, they were massive at, at the sport festival. I mean, one good 
you know, um, give the very best of yeah. welfare yeah. to the heartlet. I yeah. mean, that's that's what you could do yeah. at the domestic level, even though there's some international, you know, um, athlete there also. But I mean, they, they, they combine everything together. I think okay. um, there was there was um, uh, um, a track and field event also mm -hmm. in Asaba. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Oster Super they, they, they right brought now. back the headmasters cup. Yeah, head, you I know, mean, a lot of a lot of a lot of governors cup and. You know, even it before the athletic championship, championship you know, uh, even though we have a lot of questions. Oh, but I mean, they, they hosted it, and yeah, in the Super Eagles, yeah. play a couple of games there on the 23 yeah. also, you know, play games yeah. there. So it, it's good to see a state combine all this together. Yeah. We can just hope they could improve a lot of things. No, as, I mean, no but no, it's not just even about them. We love the fact that they're being recognized. It's for yeah. other states to also see that. So if there's a good pitch in Uyo, there's a good pitch yeah. in Asaba, there's a good pitch there's, in there's track, you know, Kaduna, there's track, you can there's do other sports around the country. Yeah. The, we, we, we won't be, we won't be. And, and the fact that, yeah, I mean, in football, you know, we had almost over 10 national teams. There's a lot so of sports. I yeah. mean, a lot of federation yeah. that they want to get engaged yeah. to engage so for in competition. Instance, I mean, we, facility we, we will be very questions. important. The FA Cup match was played on that same Stephen oh, Keshi pitch before the Super Eagles, Eagles came out to play I mean, the so, Bowie. So, so, so even, even in your state, even in, yeah. in your state, you, you need to get a two, three, four pitches. You need a fantastic enough, stadium enough. in Worry. Yeah. We have another good one you know, Enough, en else. enough yeah. sport facilities. Yeah. Austin, I mean, we've, we've got a lot of sport and we we'll always say that, you know, um, state and government are very key. Yeah. And they're key in the fact that they need to develop the facilities. You know, yeah. the facility we see in Europe today, yes, corporate are not coming in, in Europe. Mm -hmm. I mean, but these are facilities developed by, by government, you know, before corporate are even came in. So okay. we just hope our government could do more for us. Yeah, okay. So that's it. And of course, the leadership um, with football in Nigeria also put together a plan that can bring in private partnership. Uh, Channels Television received the award I told you for a football achievement at the Nigeria pitch. It was why they do receive that award. Shino Phillips, uh, we've given an explanation. The indices are there. I mean, you can tell. Uh, the, the, the Chinese Kids Cup is everywhere. It's, it's, it's more like air you breathe in terms of when you, when you think about football. We don't just seek to say, oh, no, because we are on channels. We are also in other media uh, uh, platform. But we have seen that painstaking processes have been put in place. This idea was so well conceived. I must really congratulate the chairman of, the, of Chinese TV and the entire team because... Everyone always wants to look high up there without consideration for what is low. And you don't get up there if you never start from down. And so what China has done with this idea for us is brilliant. Without having to think it twice, every member of the committee instantly decided that China must take this. So if China picks it 12 times more, we'll gladly give it to them.